Today, I'm going to show you the three letters that are about to change your dating life forever. Those three letters are R, E, C. The best dating strategy comes down to these three letters right here. And yes, before you ask, this strategy works during quarantine as well. In fact, it works even better because it's all done from the comfort of your phone. Dope, I know. Hey, don't believe me? Here's some proof. What does this acronym stand for? Rack em up, engage, close. Confused? That's okay. I'm going to break down this simple three-part system nice and easy for you. Once you learn it, your dating life's going to be solved for good. No more getting left on red or getting flaked on last minute. How do I know? Because it's exactly what I've been doing for the past few months. One, rack them up. You ever talk to a girl on Tinder, have a decent exchange of messages back and forth, and suddenly get left with no response? Then you try to follow up and nothing. She disappeared into the void. There goes your chance with her, gone forever. So you want to avoid this as much as possible. This is where step one comes into play. Racking up as many girls as you can on Instagram and Snapchat is a huge advantage. Whether you're talking on a dating app or meeting a girl in person, you need to have an easy way to follow up with her after the initial interaction. Phone numbers are good, but Instagram or Snapchat is better because when you text a girl directly, it's slightly more needy than if you were to reply to her story or send her a relevant meme. Now, since I mostly do this on dating apps, the goal of racking up Instagrams and Snapchats as quickly as possible is simple. I want to make sure I can keep in contact with this girl. The more times you talk to a girl, the more opportunities you have to build attraction, and the more likely she is to meet up with you. Important note though, overall I'd say it's best to go for the Instagram after the first message or two. If you're a younger guy, it's a good move to go for the Snapchat if that's your preference, but if you're older, then Instagram is your best bet since most girls aren't on Snapchat. Getting the girl's Instagram is huge because once you guys follow each other, you've created what I call a long-term prospect. In business, there's this concept known as a prospect or a prospective customer. Simply put, this means somebody who is considering buying your product from you. In the dating context, you are the product. As long as you guys follow and engage with one another, the possibility of you guys romantically moving forward remains alive. I've talked to girls on dating apps, gotten their Instagram, and gone on a date with them months, even more than a year later. I happened to run into them in real life, or one of us posted a story that was relevant. We messaged about it and suddenly planning a date right there. Any girl you talk to on a dating app is only a short-term prospect. Your goal should be to get them off the app and onto your Instagram or Snapchat, so they become a long-term prospect. You want to rack up as many long-term prospects as possible from dating apps. So you can move on to step two, which leads me to number two, engage. Once you have the girl's Instagram or Snapchat, it's time to engage her. The whole point of dating is to meet a girl you actually connect with and like. You do this by engaging in conversation with her and getting to know her. This is where Insta and Snap come in. In sales, there's this concept known as touch points. And no, I'm not talking about those touch points, although I do admire your forward thinking. I've been quarantined too long. No, this one is basically when a potential customer interacts with business or information or services before buying. Instagram and Snapchat are how you create these touch points with a girl over time. <laughs> Genius, I know. Hey, if you're on Instagram, you want to do the following. 1. Reply to stories. 2. Send each other funny and relevant memes and posts. And 3. Maybe even comment on her photos on rare occasions. Here's an example of how I engage a girl until she came over for a date. I used to bake vegan cookies a few times a week, and every time I made some, I'd post them on my story. One of the girls I was talking to replied to my stories of my cookies multiple times, saying I needed to try her vegan chocolate chip cookies. Well, it became a bit of an inside joke between us for a bit, and then guess what, man? That ended up being our first date. This is the benefit of engaging. It could have easily been me replying to her stories, but in this case, it was her. If you're on Snapchat, the same applies. Reply to her stories. Consider starting a streak with a girl to create a daily touch point and send regular snaps to all your long-term prospects. When I used to use Snapchat a lot, I would send update snaps every day or two to all the girls I was talking to at the time. I would just use the word update in front of it, followed by a funny pic or video update or whatever funny or interesting thing that was going on in my life at the time. If I were a young guy, I would definitely make funny quarantine update snaps and send them regularly to my prospects. 
It's a great way to keep momentum going and keep the romance alive while you're physically apart. Now for the girls you're talking to frequently. You can engage them more intensely outside of IG and Snap by FaceTiming each other or even texting. The more you know a girl, the more you can text or set up times to FaceTime with her. FaceTime and phone calls are super important while everyone is stuck inside because it's the only way to build a deep, lasting connection with a girl you like. Build a strong enough connection with her and she'll be counting the days until you guys can meet up for real. 3. Clothes Now, if you're watching this in the future and there isn't a plague outside, then you want to close on some of your prospects and set up a date. But if you can't close a date within the next few days, I recommend what's known as a soft close. A soft close is when you guys both agree to hang out or do a specific activity at some point, but don't actually have a specific day or time. I'm sure you've done this with your friends. Hey bro, we have to hit the gym together as soon as the lockdown's over, or yo man, I was definitely gonna hit that bar again once it's safe, you in? Same thing applies with girls you're talking to. You want a soft close with a specific activity. It can be getting bubble tea or going on a hike, binge watching your guy's favorite Netflix show or whatever it may be. The easiest way to soft close is to set up an inside joke between you two. Something like the cookies example I mentioned earlier. This way, it's natural to set up a soft close and secure a future date. For example, if Cookie Girl and I were talking during this time, I would have definitely soft closed by saying something like this. We'll definitely have to bake some vegan cookies together once everything settles down, as long as you promise not to burn down my house in the process. See that? It has all the elements of a soft close, fun, flirty, relevant, and linked to a specific activity. So there you have it. That's my quarantine dating strategy. Hey, this video turned out to be a little longer than expected, but we covered a lot of ground and hell, I thought it was going to be shorter, but oh well, I guess you guys got lucky today, huh? No worries, man. My online dating strategy is going to make you a lot luckier. Till next time, Zeus out. Hey, you want to learn how to get girls addicted to you with just a few messages? Then click the link below and sign up with your email to learn the godly secret of the Great Filter, taken straight from Mount Olympus. You'll also get a chance to check out my flagship course, The Godly Texting Guide. Over the past year, it's been used by over 4,000 based Olympians to get insane results like this. The Godly Texting Guide is filled with masterclass video lessons, teaching you my no BS system for getting you past a girl's great filter and getting you more responses and more dates than you know what to do with. It also includes the War Chest, which contains over 100 copy-paste opening lines, attraction building tactics, and breakdowns of conversations, and word-for-word -word openers you can use at any time to bypass the great filter and make beautiful women eager to meet you. Click below and check it out. Zeus out.